So we saw the president, former president, be shot, but suffer only a wound to his ear. Anybody who's thought anything about that knows that had that shot been a millimeter or two different, he would have been a victim of assassination. Trump is truly blessed by the hand of God being able to evade being assassinated. But it shows you when you, when you look at what he's been through yesterday, the trials and tribulations that he's been through, not just yesterday, but through the entirety of the past year. There's no one in America who has the strength, physical, mental, and emotional, to be able to stand up to that, to be able to respond to that, to be able to, to deal with all of that. He is the, the, the mightiest warrior that we have in the United States of America. Another thing I'll add is, is and the last thing I'll add, and, and that is that he showed his character last night in the, his first response. One thing that Dan and I know, because we know him personally, that most Americans and most Texans don't know. The first thing Donald Trump thinks about is other people. And he revealed that. And the first thing that he shared publicly with people in the aftermath of getting shot, the first thing he talked about was thanking the Secret Service. But then the second thing he talked about was not himself, but the other victims of what happened. That is who he is all the time, caring about others before caring about himself. And so it's a sad day, but it's a day where Donald Trump showed his character and his resiliency.